So having a set practice routine is one of the most important things to keep in mind, especially when you're trying to improve at Fortnite. And it's actually one of the reasons why pro players are so consistent. And so without practicing every aspect of their gameplay, many of the biggest pros wouldn't have gone anywhere in the Fortnite scene. And that's why guys, you know, you need to make the perfect routine for yourself. But your coins, Tommy, where you at, your motivation guy? Yeah, that's right, I am back, I'm not going anywhere. And today, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best warm up and practice routines that you need to try so you can reach your maximum potential. You guys ready for this? Let's get this going. All right, guys, so to start off your daily routine, you're gonna wanna make sure that you've warmed up and your fingers are just quick and ready to react to anything in a moment's notice. All right, so you can easily do this, guys, by just heading into your own creative world and just free build as much as you can. And so while free building, you should always try to implement new building strategies that might be useful in games, but you should always be mindful that you're building in ways that you're actually gonna end up using, all right? Don't get all super fancy for no reason. For example, like if you're free building, you shouldn't try to do like random retakes that are just useless and wouldn't really do anything for you in a realistic situation. You know what I'm talking about. I know it's fun to do, but you know what? We have to make quality out of our time, right? So if you end up like ingraining the wrong kind of building techniques into your practice like that, then you're seriously going to hold yourself back. Instead, do things like ramp flips and edit downs that you're going to actually use against real opponents. And so after free building, you can also find a 1v1 in creative matchmaking or just simply find a friend on a similar skill level to just 1v1 for a couple of minutes. Make sure that you 1v1 and just free build for at least 15 minutes before you hop into an arena game or a tournament. It might not sound like a lot, but by doing this, you're going to improve your mechanics and a surprise amount of time. So if you're still not managing to get the hang of the mechanics you need to improve, you should definitely head on over to ProGuys.com. Our coach is going to help you guys improve no matter what your mechanical level is by just playing right alongside you in game so that they can give you custom tailor made feedback and really help you improve fast. You can do it. So after you guys have warmed up, all right, you can just do one of two things. You can go ahead and just jump into some games or you can keep on grinding to just level up your mechanics even faster. So one of the best ways to do this is with creative maps. And some of the best that we would recommend for you, like after you've warmed up, are the Skavak Peace Control Map and the Tito Season 7 Warm Up Map. Both of these maps are incredibly advanced and pretty easy to use as well. And it definitely is gonna put you through a whole bunch of different scenarios that are essential if you wanna be your dominant self, man, and just really just take over opponents in real games. The Skavak Peace Control map alone has over 20 different scenarios that you can practice, all of which can really help you improve a whole lot. And so each of these different scenarios will help you with different mechanical techniques, ranging from high walls to side jumps and even build phasing. Yeah, it's dope. After completing all the different scenarios on the Skavak map, like you can head on over to the free build area to just try and implement the new techniques that you learn into your building. There's so many different bots on the free build area of the map, so it's just a much better way to practice than the free building that you would just have done in your warm up. After the Skavak peace control map, check it out. You can head on over to the Tito warm up map. This map is going to help you guys improve your edits by making you much more consistent and has hundreds of different features that you can use to feel more comfortable. Since you've already practiced your peace control on Skavak, you can actually just skip this peace control drills if you want because you're gonna wanna be focusing much more on your edits than your building in peace control. All right, so if you manage to practice your mechanics and warm up for between, I would say like half an hour and 45 minutes before jumping into the real games, like every single time, your mechanics are gonna start improving so crazy fast. And you know, if you're not training your mechanics like this, you're definitely missing out. So after doing your warmups and training your mechanics, you're also going to need to work on practicing your aim. Aim is honestly, man, like the most important thing that you need to master if you're gonna succeed in the higher levels of Fortnite. That's for sure. Like, okay, like outbuilding someone is great, but if you can't land your shots after you gained height, then how in the world are you ever going to eliminate them? So there are a lot of great maps that you can use to practice your aim, but the two maps that we're gonna recommend that you try out today are the Raider 464 Aim Duels map and the Skavak Aim Trainer map. Both I would personally recommend for sure, it's dope. The Skavak Aim Trainer map is one of the best aim trainers in the game, man, and it's just very easy to use. The map always receives new updates, so you know, don't worry. So you never have to worry about bugs or problems that may disrupt your routine. You know, aiming is something that many players find difficult, no matter what input they 
play on. I get so many messages on my Insta all the time where people are asking me, okay, how do they improve in aiming? But let me say this, man, don't worry because this map is friendly to both keyboard and mouse and controller players. And as you would expect from a Skavox map, like has a bunch of different scenarios that you can really choose from. You're gonna be able to train your tracking skills, your crosshair placement, flicking, reaction time, target switching, and many other useful skills that Fortnite requires you to have. This map will never let you down as long as you put in the work and practice at least, I would say, 50 minutes a day. All you gotta do is really load it in the map using the code in the description and use any weapon that you prefer. Go through each scenario a couple of times and just make sure that you know what your weaknesses are so that you can spend more time on them. So after training your aim with Skavox map, all right, put it to the test against a role player, all right? The Raider 464 aim duels map will allow you to choose from a variety of different scenarios and really allows you to customize your health, weapons, and fighting space. This map is a ton of fun, and you can actually like compete with your friends to give you an extra incentive to improve your aim. This aim duels map will help you warm up very quickly and will make sure that your tracking and crosshair placement is to your best potential. You should spend at least, mm, 20 minutes a day on this map and it really helps out almost every single pro player uses this map guys and a lot of them have permanently implemented this map into the warm-up yeah it's crazy some players may have a problem with this just because they have nobody skilled to really play aim duels against fair night man you can always look in a fortnite discord or just use the matchmaking portal inside the map just put use the code in the description and you're going to load into the map and after just look for the square portal on the side which will allow you to load into the aim duel against another player if you really just want to improve make sure to practice in each map for the time stated and you're going to be spending around mm, one hour and 30 minutes and creative every day so putting this amount of time is going to make you the best player that you could possibly be and it's going to put your name on top of the leaderboards who's ready yeah i know you are that's why you're listening to this because you're serious about what you do and that's why you are going to be successful yeah i'm talking to you but your girl saw me, it's time for the question of the day. Today, we want to know whether you always warm up before playing competitively, or if you don't, let us know why in the comments down below, and we're definitely going to check it out. All right, guys, back to the video. So after practicing these crucial mechanics and aim skills, man, like, you're okay, you're going to need to put them to test against players that are at your skill level or even higher. So you can do this by playing competitive, creative modes like Zone Wars, Box Fights, and Realistics. You can easily find players to play against in Fortnite Discord's creative, you know, matchmaking or third party websites. And so make sure that you take these seriously and just try to play your best to your capability. By practicing against decent players in creative, you're going to improve so fast, man. Your consistency is going to be off the hook and you're going to know exactly what is holding you back from succeeding. And so by playing creative, you're going to enjoy the game. You're going to learn new moves and you're going to realize your mistakes. That's going to be really cool. So just try playing creative for at least one hour every time you play Fortnite and just make sure that you're playing game modes that you enjoy, you know, against players who want to improve as badly as you. Finally, let me say this. The last step to your routine has to be playing scrims. It has to. So if you're truly looking to succeed in Fortnite competitive, you need to scrim for at least mm, three hours a day and compete all the steps prior to this. You know, many of you may be asking, okay, what about arena? And that's a great question. Playing arena with friends may be enjoyable. I love it. I really do. And it definitely is going to help your fighting IQ, but you need to start doing that in creative. If you practice enough in creative, the importance of grinding arena will be absolutely diminish instead you know put all your extra time into scrimming scrimming helps your overall game sense it's going to make you so used to the laggy conditions of stacked tournaments and it's definitely the most realistic practice that you can get and so many players avoid scrims because of the lag the difficulty or just the inconvenience trust me when i say this everyone's been on that boat but the players with the most determination will always remain on top and so you can easily queue up for scrims for discord servers like open scrims kmg scrims or just simply display scrims hosted by your favorite streamers so this routine is gonna take you around, I would say like four to five hours to complete, but you can always just alter the amount of time and just spend it differently to get on a tight schedule. Remember all the specific areas of this routine and just utilize all of our tips featured on the maps to really become the very best. If you guys liked the video, make sure you sub to the channel and connect with me on my Instagram. You can do it at your motivation guy. You know, I believe in you. I am your number one fan. Keep going, don't quit no matter what is in your way. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.